what was your perception of Hartford Stage when you came, and what were you thinking that you really wanted to accomplish as the new artistic director? When I first came here, I was a guest director at the old place, which was the theater that Jacques founded in the first season that the new theater was, was extant. I was still considered myself an actor, but Irene Lewis convinced me to do this, and I thought, all right, I will. It was a new play by Israel Horowitz. And um, so I got a chance to see this space, which was just extraordinary. But I never for a moment thought that directing was my future. And, um, and then, through a series of things, I was directing in other parts of the country, including the Arizona Theater Company, where I met David. And it was after that, while I was there, that I got a call from the search committee saying, you know, would you come and talk to us? Mm -hmm. They were very interested in exploring classics on the stage. It was this mm -hmm. big stage suddenly, after a small, intimate, wonderful uh, space at the old place. And they really wanted someone who was going to be flamboyantly reckless enough to put large-scale productions on the stage. And I said, well, I'm your man. <laughs> 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 but I had been an actor at the Guthrie for four seasons, and I, I really, I left Broadway to go to the Guthrie um, because of the size and scale and the investigation of classic plays from the treasure troves of theater. And I worked there with Michael Langham, who was really a kind of mentor to me, and Tyrone Guthrie had been his mentor, so I have a good lineage. And I, Michael really gave me my first chance directing elsewhere, a, a, a couple huge classical plays. When I came, uh, I was in awe of Paul's track record and the history that he and Jacques had made. I was daunted by the size of the stage. I was uh, worried about my youth. I was 31 or two, three, some, somewhere in the early 30s, and I was just terrified that I was gonna crumble. But I had this enormous playground of a stage to really develop a relationship to classics with. Mm -hmm. And the audience at that time seemed to embrace that. Mm -hmm. They really were hungry for Shakespeare. On first season, we did um, uh, Schnitzler's Undiscovered Country, which is a, a huge play that Tom Stoppard had adapted uh, that came from the National Theater. Unaffordable today mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. We did a huge production of Cymbeline, one of the late plays of Shakespeare. Enormous play by any standards. Uh, the, the next season, I did nine plays by Aeschylus, Sophocles, and Euripides, mm. called the Greeks. It was just amazing to look back at it from this perspective of this time now, where everything is so constricted, um, to see the largesse, mm -hmm. the kind of funding we got from the endowment, from uh, Mellon, from uh, the Ford Foundation. I mean, just, mm. they, they, they supported this kind of work, and they supported other theaters who were, you know, going in, 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 in risky directions. So. It was a fantastic opportunity for a young artistic director to take. And the town itself was very uh, it, it responsive to that.